it's Joshua Newman playing Super Mario 64 DS. In the last episode, we did Shifted Sandland and Dire Dire Docks. In this episode, we're going to be fighting Bowser in here. Now, welcome to Bowser in the Fire Sea. This is one of the difficult Bowser levels in the entire game. The final one's easy, though. I don't know why. The final ones are supposed to be hard and intense. But yeah, uh, in the DS version there was one up over here. So yeah, we have bullies and gumbers. Gumbers are easy, bullies are like hard because they're a pushover and they can bully you. And I was like, I'm getting bullied. Now there's different ways you can go through that pool or you can just get burnt and you'll automatically go up here. There's a red coin over there. Now, what I want to do is, I uh, want to get this. They only give you coins, this uh, block, though. Uh, yeah. So, there's two red coins in this bit. There's one under here, and one over there. I'm going to get that in a minute. I'm going to get that one first. Now, I'm going to show you the proper way out to get up there. Go on these poles, then you jump to any of these things. That's all you do. Or you could just burn yourself as a trick. Now, the second, well, not second, but the other red coin, the fourth one, is up here. Now then, more of them are in the second bit of the level. We have this elevator over here. And by fire sea, I mean lava. It's supposed to be called Bowser in the lava. It's not really, but... Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Okay, I'm there. Now then, the next one is where the bully is. You go up here, and go this way, and then go up here. Do not get, do not, don't try to get bullied though. That's the fifth one. Next one is during this part of the mission. Uh, that block will give you a one up. I don't want it though, so. And then, there's a thing to lift us to the bit that we want. Can I get there? Yes! <laughs> now then, we want to go through here. There's no red coins in here, but over here they just give you coins. There's a bomb over here. Oh, no! Actually, you know what? I'm going to get this one up. <laughs> Yep, I've got it. So we need to wait. Okay then, so... Oh! Bombs can do that as well! So, bombs are just like bullies then. Okay, so then, um, what I want to do is I want to just go up here, I want to go up here, in this, these poles, I didn't even die in this stage yet, oh my god, and here there's a one up, I don't think that was here in the DS version. There's a one-up over there. I actually lied. There was no one-ups in Bowser in the Dark World. That was the Power Star Wars. They were in this uh, one instead. I was actually thinking of that world uh, because I was thinking of this one. But the other red coin is up here and the star is just over there. <laughs> Many ways you could get to that. You could just... Uh, go over here, or I'm going to do it this way. So, go up to this pole. Then I'm going to wall jump. Then I can long jump. Then I can make it there. Now, now let's go to Bowser! 
So Mario gains more power, you bet. Okay. So let's go and fight the king. He has some new attacks and I want to show off. So let's uh, read. Possess me again, are you Mario? Yes, he lies. We're time to start. He jumps now and then he he crosses all the whole arena. Now his other attack is this. I want to show it off. When I try to do this, he teleports. Kind of interesting that he does that. That's what he does. But now, we want to do the same thing what we did before. We just not throw him over there. If you miss the throw, he'll do this attack again. Make sure you go back down there as you reach him. And he also has one fire attack. Let's see right now. Bowser in the spice sea. I'm also dying for this battle. I just grab his tail. And he's all the way over there. Oh, I want to grab his tail. Yeah, grab your tail, Bowser. Well, here it comes. And boom, I grabbed you. I'm going to throw you to this one. No, I always miss. Back in here and fight him again. Oh my glitching baby. Skip the whole text, of course. Okay, what ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, I just grabbed him as he moved. Can I get it? Yes! I'm inside him! I'm playing as Bowser! Now, let's... So, in the Japanese, go in the middle of the key, press down on the thing, then Mario will show a power star and not a key. Now we can go to the third floor. Uh, no, second floor and the third floor, uh, actually. Now, we could end the game. But I want to do more Dia Dia Docs, so let's go! Pole jumping for eight red coins. So we can now do this one. We can finally do this one! Hooray! Let's go to the docks! Now, I'll meet you at the docks. Something that I did like is that I didn't die in Bowser in the Fire Sea, except in the battle I did. It's really cool. I like it so much. Now, look, Bowser's sub is gone, even the thing over there. That thing will take you back to the castle, uh, courtyard, no, not courtyard, where the booths are, but... Outside of the castle, where you first start your game. You first start the game in the water, so do not go in there. I will go in there in a hundred coin mission later on, and I'll show off where it takes you. So we can't use Bowser's sub anymore. This is normally how you get to Bowser's sub. This thing. But what I can do is that I can just 
do a double jump, or you can actually uh, do a long jump by just by just doing this. Yeah. Now, I showed you the double jump way, now let's show you the different way how you can do this. Really works. So get your starting position ready and then boom. Yes, I got it. Now I want to get to that right now. Let's go to that. Now that everything's got touched. Also, you know that the sub is defeated. That you still, they still give you a star to get that as the sub is defeated. Yeah, the star is still there. I don't know why, but in 100 coin missions you can get that. You can possibly get that. I don't know how. You could just use the poles. I don't think the sub will appear ever again. No. It won't appear if you defeat Bowser. If you defeat that Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. Oh. Also, there's blocks over there if you want to cheat. Uh, I'm going to show you it the proper way. If we hit the switch. Oh, first I'm going to go this way. And then this. This really sucks. This really sucks. So we go up here. Sometimes this will run out. Don't know why, but it really does. <laughs> now then, let's uh, just go to uh, the um, area. No, 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 Now then, the red coin is all the way over there. You might be wondering how I get to it. Well, we wait for this pole over here. First I'm going to collect these blue coins. You see that star over there? You can still actually get it when the sub is gone. Yeah. It's still there. I don't think you, it's possible to get, but but it's still there. I don't know why it's still there, but but my god. And I don't want to use this one. I want to cheat to get to this one. Now let's cheat. Get the star and get away. We gotta see the sub. <laughs> the sub is gone away. <laughs> now, pole jumping for red coins is finished, and I got another one up. Thank you for 50 coins. Now, getting 50 coins will give you one up if you complete a stage. Now, the manta rays reward. 
is in this kind of area. Now, in the DS version, there was like an island in this uh, sort of bit in this area. Well, it's on top of the water. Now, for this, we need to go through the rays, um, the manta rays, uh, thingies. And, oh, great. I didn't do it. Now, good thing to notice is that just go through them. You need to wait for them, though. And then, for our fifth one. We're gonna start almost at a vortex. Please. This one's really hard. Not joking. So, just go to the thing. We're in the vortex. We're getting sucked off. No, we're not really. So yeah. And now for the last stage in this level. So we want to go collect the caps. This is an easy one. We just go to the docks. I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're, we're back at the docks. Uh, so what we want to do? Remember that uh, metal cap and the vanish cap is there. Well, we're gonna get there. So we want to get them. We want to get the vanish cap first, and then the metal cap. So we go in the water as we're invisible. Can you see that star over there? We're getting that. We're not doing through the jet stream. We're doing this one. Collect the cats. And then... No more Diadox... Dia Diadox until later of the game! Hooray! <laughs> Baby! Now... Uh, what I can do, um, I want to show off in Dia Dia Docks really quick because I want to exit the level and go back to the beginning of the castle. Anyway. So, select any stage. I'm going to select this one. In this bit here, um, there is usually like islands in the DS version for a switch star. Uh, not in this version. So let's exit this level. So then, now we're back in this area, we want to get this thing. <laughs> now if we collect 70 stars, we can do the final showdown. Now you can walk all, all, all the way these stairs, or there's a glitch here. Just walk through here and then boom. And then, we want to go in this painting. Then in the DS version, you can go inside this mirror. And then there will be a Luigi painting over there, and a warrior one inside. Apparently it's a Jolly Roger Bay American and European version one. There are some paintings that are really new for courses. Like that one over here, we can't get in them. There's also some of them we can't get into, even though they're courses, but we can't get inside. Like, this Jolly Roger Bay one. I tried to get in, I can't. Might notice that... The mirror has Coco Mountain picture on it. Well, this is a real painting we go in. So, it's not Coco Mountain, it's Snowman's Land, the 10th level. Double digits. Snowman's Big Ed. I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to do Chill with the Bully. And that is actually a boss fight here. So, over here, this is Chill Bully, the only one in the game. Well,. Well, before the final game, I believe there was two. Like, small ones. And all you do, you just defeat him and then you get a star. This one, that was like uh, 10 seconds, of course. <coughs> now, uh, we'll continue on Snowman's Land. Uh, we'll do one more mission. And we'll do the Snowman's Big Head. I always... Screw up on that one. Now that chill bully can respond. You can kill him all the time if you want. We can make him on the other islands. No, I've already got that star. 
no, 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 no. Run away. This ice can hurt you. Also, we have new enemies. I don't know what they are, but they steal coins out of you. Well, they don't steal them out of you, but... We also have these snowmen. Now, these waters in in snow levels, or ice levels, whatever you want to say, they will actually kill you. These waters, well, they don't kill you instantly, but they will lose your health. They will, they will hurt you. Well, they won't hurt you, but I think it's because it's freezing. You're not supposed to go on icy days, maybe? Come on, boom! Now, if we're up here, I think these things were like shy guys on the picture. Now we can hear a penguin! Well, he is really out for that penguin. We go up here. Then, go over here. Okay, if you go close to him, he'll blow you and you'll lose your hat, but you can just get it back. So, if you want to go through him easily, use this penguin. It will not blow the penguin, because the penguin's fat. Now we can easily get through him. There we go, first try. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'll get the start first try. Let's see. Yes, first try. Now, I'm going to call it quits here, so next time on Super Mario 64, we'll be doing more Snowman's Land, Ow, and we'll be completing it. Uh, actually, we'll do one more level before we end the video off, because uh, it is really quick. It's called In the Deep Freeze. In, in the DS version, it's called Yoshi's Ice Sculpture, because you need Yoshi to burn these. Now... Uh, we want to go inside here. Then go inside this one. Now, we'll end this video off here. Next time on Super Mario 64, we'll be doing more Snowman's Land. And we'll be completing it. I will see you guys next time. Joshua Newman is out.